What up, what up, what up? It is your boy, BQ. Welcome to my channel. This is the Impact Lounge. It is the number one place to be for the Impact Wrestling fan, the undisputed champion, the Impact Lounge. Um, we hit 5,500 subscribers this month. Uh, we're pretty close to 5,600, so it's your first time here. Uh, please consider hitting that subscribe button. So I'm watching Impact this morning, taking my notes, and say hi to Crook here. Um, I'm taking my notes and I'm watching Madman Fulton versus Hernandez. And there's been a lot of talk about who could lead OBE. They're on this clear losing streak that they act like is, you know, recent, but it's really been over a year that they've, you know, lost the majority of their matches. So there's there's a talk about who could lead this group. And uh, here on the channel, a lot of people are pushing for Eric Young. Now, there's a few reasons why I don't think that's realistic. Uh, number one, he has at least a month, month and a half on his no-compete clause still. And I don't think we can afford to see OVE lose that <laughs> that much longer at this point. And that's assuming if they sign him that he showed up right away. Also, when you make your triumphant return like that, you appear as a babyface. That's just the way it is. That's the way it works. He's going to be, you know, the, the fans are going to be behind him. There's no way around that. That's if he returns, which many suspect he, he most likely will. Um, but he's going to be in the main main event picture immediately. There's no no doubt about that. He's not going to be in the mid-card fighting for nothing. He's not going to be fighting for the X Division. He, he will be in the main event picture. Um, they may even go old school TNA and make him win the title his first night back. You feel me? So I don't think it's Eric Young. Um, at this point in his career, he doesn't need to lead anybody. You know, that's, I think, would be a step back for him. So people time the Sammy Callahan. Oh, well, he's challenged. You know, Sammy challenged them, so naturally he's going to lead OBE. You know, they compare it to Sanity. I, I don't see it personally. I think he's too big at this point to to lead them. He doesn't need them. And he's going to be a baby face. That's, you know, you guys may completely disagree, and that's cool. That's the, the beauty of opinions when we're when wrestling fans. But I'm watching this opening match, and I'm, I'm listening to the commentary. And I may be way off base here. I just want to say that BQ called it if I'm right on this. Um, but I could be very, very wrong, and that's okay, too. I'm wrong all the time. I'm listening to commentary. I'm trying to read between the lines, <clears throat> and I can hear it going a certain direction and then backing off like it's you know, throwing you off the scent. Um, you guys know I've been, I've been saying for a long time I want Nevea to lead OVE. I don't see that happening. Um because of the way she debuted. If you bring on a leader, it has to hit us out of nowhere. And when she debuted and it was tied to Jessica Havoc, I don't see where she kind of wanders into the OBE picture. So I don't think it's going to be her. But who I do think it's going to be is Ohio's very own Madison Rain. Now, if you think about the Madison Rain storyline for a little while, there's the Madison Rain golden opportunity and then it kind of transitioned into, well, she wanted to manage someone, lead someone to, to the Knockouts Championship. You know, it's almost like she's transitioning a little bit at this point of her career to, to kind of a managerial level, but she'll still compete. And um, I could also see a really good Knockouts title reign if she had these three guys behind her. You know what I mean? So, I could, because I think when this commentary is over, I think they have to do something very different with Madison. And I, I can just see something like this happening. And as I've said, I you know, I, I wanted Nevaeh to be the leader because I really truly think a woman should lead OBE, slap him around, get him fired up, you know, much like Sammy Callahan did. But at this point, if you give him a male leader, I think it just it doesn't make him any different than when Sammy Callahan was the leader. Like you gotta like really, really freshen them up. So I think a female would be would be great but again if you listen to the commentary the opening match i feel like you you may not hear this but i feel like it's kind of going that direction a little bit just 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 a little bit but um i'm just listening and it hit me that would be the perfect leader she's from ohio she needs something to do managerial role at this point in her career would be really really smart and um I don't know. Let me know in the, your thoughts in the comments about who you think will ultimately lead OBE. You still might think it's Eric Young. I don't see it. I, I don't at all. I think that's, you know, we, we, we fantasy book sometimes. 
Um, sometimes it's realistic, sometimes it's not. And I wouldn't say that it isn't realistic. I just don't personally see it for the mention, the reasons I mentioned earlier. But that's my prediction. Madison Rain leading OVE. I just want to say BQ called it if it happened. But if I'm wrong, I'll be the first one to raise my hand and be like, whoops, screwed the pooch on that one. I'm wrong. Was way off base. Thanks for swinging by the Impact Lounge. Talk to you soon. Peace. Peace.